day. Are you all right? It's me, Sir Clunkalot, your personal advisor. I am glad we survived this giant wave. We should get a better overview of the damage. Grab anywhere to move back and forth, or up and down. Try... Well done. But you can do even more if you grab with both hands. Move one hand forward, and the other one back to turn around. Let's look around. Follow me. There you are. There's not much to see here at... See? This giant wave could not be caused by a storm. Follow me. This wave hit us at a bad time. We were just about to get back from our secret mission. King Richard needs to know everything we have seen. Let's go back to the ship. Our sail is completely broken. The crew should be able to fix it with the resources floating around the ship. Pick up the resources with your index finger and put them back ah. on the ship. Be careful that you also don't grab to move at the same time by accident. sail is fixed, but there is still no wind. There is only one thing we can do. Blow into the sail as hard as you can. Ah, we're moving. But where is all this fog coming from? I have a bad feeling about this. The situation hasn't improved at all. Now, we're shipwrecked. Let's take a look at this island. To zoom out, grab with both hands stretched out and pull the... Great. Follow me. There you are. To zoom in, grab with both hands close together and pull them apart. Continue, return to the default size in the middle. This island is pretty small. Let's get back to the shipwreck to see what's left. We saved some of the cargo. I wonder what's inside these chests. Activate the building info and press the icon on top of our chests. Building info is only one of several helpful menus. Open the main menu. The main menu gives you access to a lot of general options, but there is a different overview to show you all relevant information about the current island. Open the island info. Huh? Here you can see your current tasks in case you don't know what to do next. The island info also provides an overview of your population and resources. There is enough wood and stone to build a residence for our people. Open the build menu. Grab 
grab the building and drag it to a place on the ground with enough space. Your workers will now construct a new building. Residences increase the population limit of your town. If grilled meat is brought to the residence, a new townsman will appear. In order to build more houses, we need more wood. Create a woodcutter by dragging someone to a tree. Woodcutters need a place to store wood. Build a woodcutter's cabin. We don't need this windmill, and it's blocking a lot of space. Let's tear it down. Open the windmill's building info. Now click the tear down button and drag the hammer onto the windmill. is broken. Assign a worker to the bridge to repair it. Great. The bridge can be used again. There's a quarry on the other side. Build a stonemason's hut so we can get stone.
turn the wooden logs into boards, we need a saw. Activate the building info and press the icon on top of the woodcutter. Press the build options button and drag the saw close to the woodcutter to place it. Huh? We now have basic construction resources, but our townsmen also need food. Build a hunting lodge.
hunter will bring back raw meat from hunting. We need to cook the meat before we can eat it. Build a tavern. <laughs> 